Hey people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well and your good health. Okay, right now we're on a Guardian article here. Talking a little bit about the housing crisis right now that's affecting the United Kingdom. So let's dive straight in. It says here, councils in England facing bankruptcy as lack of housing pushes up costs. So, England's housing crisis will push many local authorities into bankruptcy as the increasing cost of emergency accommodation for thousands of homeless families threatens to overwhelm council budgets leaders have warned. The worst hit councils are now spending millions of pounds a year, in some cases between a fifth uh, you know, and a half of their total available financial resources to try and cope with an unprecedented and rapid explosion in homelessness caused by rising rents and a shrinking supply of affordable properties. Now, the scale of the crisis means that Smaller councils, often in affluent, you know, shire counties, so normally, you know, down south maybe, are struggling to supply enough emergency homes to meet their legal duty to support homeless families. Homelessness rates in some districts have more than doubled year on year. Now, councils that have enjoyed housing stability for years are now reeling at the accelerating cost of the crisis. You can see Basildon Borough Council in Essex has seen spending on temporary accommodation rise from 7,000 in 2017 to 2 million in 2022. Obviously a massive increase. Hastings Borough Council in East Sussex spent £750,000 in 2019, but expects its annual bill to go you know, over 5 million, 5.6 million by next Easter. There is cross-party consensus in local government about the need for urgent ministerial action with the inventory control councils calling for rent controls, increases housing benefits, rates and investment in new social housing to provide, or basically, sorry, to prevent the crisis from dragging smaller districts into insolvency. Obviously, we have seen multiple boroughs in the country in terms of councils that have become bankrupt, recently Birmingham and others down south. So unless the government acts now, many of us will go over the edge financially with a devastating income impact on local services, the decline of the safety net which district councils provide will hit the most vulnerable members of our communities hardest, said Hannah Dalton, housing spokesperson for the district council network. A guardian analysis of local authority revenue expenditure found 10 councils where more than £1 in every £10 of course spending, which is not ring fenced on the councils, basically can use to take decisions we on temporary accommodation. So you can see Hastings at the top there, followed by Crawley, and then you know you can see all the other councils there in this chart as well. So many of these councils have also seen larger rises in the number of people housing temp accommodation. In Crawley, West Sussex, that's the south of England, the number of households doubled between 2019 and March this year. In Hastings, the number tripled, and in Avant in Hampshire, it grew tenfold, according to government homelessness figures. The crisis is being driven by rising eviction from prior rented housing over the past two years. And also, you know, you've got uh, coupled with local housing benefit cuts, scarcity of suitable homes and rising mortgage interest rates, you know, forcing landlords to sell up or switch to short-term lets, such as Airbnb, forcing potential first-time buyers to stay in rented homes. So some of the councils have described increasing chaotic local private rented housing market conditions as the crisis speeds, including unscrupulous private landlords evicting tenants and then offering the property to the local council to use as temporary accommodation and you know charging a substantially high rent, a process known as flipping. Families increasingly being placed in temporary housing miles from where they live and far from children's schools, district councils, Essex, routinely housed families in Norfolk and Cambridgeshire and one family was reported to be placed in Inverness in northern Scotland, obviously which is miles away. Councils also direct competition with home office, the silence you know seekers, you know, housing contract circle, clean springs to secure scarce temporary accommodation in the area. Some councils are considering offering uh, golden hello cash payments to landlords to secure priority access to homes. Right, so these are some of the figures you know that have been published in England, which are basically showcasing that a record of 104,000 households in temp accommodation 
at a cost of the taxpayer of 1.7 billion. Council said that figures have been swelled by growing numbers of working families made homeless after being turfed out by landlords wishing to sell up or raise rents. Now it may be that some of these landlords have had the you know the mortgage rates, interest rates have shot up, so they're not potentially able to keep up with those repayments. So some of them are selling now. Stephen Robinson, the Liberal Democrat leader of Chelmsford City Council, said. As a country, we've not built enough homes for the last three decades. The crisis in homeless is not addressed. It could bank up very many district and unitary councils within a couple of years, with those in the southeast of England at particular risk. Labour run Hastings, which has said it effect basically faces bankruptcy as a consequence of rising temporary accommodation bills, said in a recent paper that the financial and social consequences, you know, are so serious that even the term, you know, for housing crisis is sufficiently conveys a systematic, uh, sorry, systemic and embedded challenges we face. A spokesperson for the government said ministers were committed to ensuring the families could move out of temporary accommodation into stable housing. Local authorities have basically seen an increase in cost spending power of up to 5.1 billion or 9.4% in cash terms on 2022-2023 with almost 60 billion available for local government in England. Now, says here, we also commit to reducing the need for temporary accommodation by preventing homelessness before it occurs in the first place, which is why we're providing council one billion through homelessness prevention grant over the next three years. Okay, people, you can see there is a housing crisis right now here in England and the UK. Please do let us know if that's affected you in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please consider supporting the channel by joining the channel, sponsor on Patreon, Link in the description. Okay, people, catch you on the next one.